e aku ranga tērā. Tēnā tātou katoa. Tēnā te mihi nui ki te iwi e whakatau e a mātou e te āta nei. Nō reira, ki e koutou katoa. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. I'd like to thank you all for being here. I understand it's been oversubscribed. Absolutely chock-a-block. So there are some tables up the front for those of you who are feeling it's quite cramped down the back. But it's a great sign that you want to be here to hear more about Evidence to Action. I want to acknowledge our international speakers, Ron Haskins from the Centre on Children and Families, Brookings Institution, the United States. I had the pleasure of meeting Ron just before. He tells me we have a beautiful country. He needs to come back and see the other side of the country, down in Crusaders territory, down in the South Island, because he's only time for the North Island this time. And so I'm guessing there's some people from the South Island here who, oh, oh, who know there's, um, there's a lot of good places around our country to see. Professor Christy Muir, Centre for Social Impact, University of New South Wales. Lovely to have you here too, Christy. We have New Zealand speakers that I want to acknowledge. Parakafi and McLean, Chief Executive Waikato Tainui. Laura Black, who's Director of the Methodist Mission. But there are many others who will chair sessions and be speakers um, during this conference, and I acknowledge you all. I thank you for bringing your skills, your wisdom to this place so we can share in them and learn from you. I would like to acknowledge Len Cook, our very hard-working Superu Board Chair, and his fellow board members, and Claire Ward, our extremely hard-working Chief Executive of Superu, and the team that she has here today, all of the work that they've put into putting it together. This year's theme moves on from this conference, June, I think, last year, um, where this year we're looking at evidence, it's how you use it that matters, focuses on using evidence effectively, ensuring that it has the greatest impact possible. The conference seeks to highlight practical examples of evidence use and promote its use as much as possible. Don't know about you folk, but I'm always seeking examples of how a concept is going to be carried out. That, to me, gives me an idea of whether I believe it can work. It seeks to help participants develop ways of using evidence in their work, to learn more about what is actually working and why, and understand better how you can apply that knowledge, because it's going to improve people's lives if it works. The use of evidence is something that a government sector has traditionally not had a strong background in, often wondering but not knowing which programmes or initiatives worked and which ones didn't. There was also a lack of understanding about where programs and services were overlapping or duplicating the work of another organisation. The government's social investment approach is about increasing the use of targeted, evidence-based investment to secure better long-term results for New Zealand's most vulnerable. Rather than simply spending more taxpayer dollars, we want to know that we're spending what we spend in the right areas. So we need to know what works, and we need to know what doesn't. We want to get better results from what is in fact an investment of billions of dollars that we're currently spending. And we also want to know where to invest new money. Improving the effectiveness of policy and services is a powerful way to improve the lives of individuals, families and whānau in New Zealand. And utilising that evidence can make a real difference when it's used effectively. Superu plays an important role in the social sector as a key driver for increasing the use of evidence across the whole sector in an effort to enable better decision making. Whether it be decisions about funding, about policies, services, Superu's role is to provide guidance on how best to improve the life, the life of those individual New Zealanders but also lives within communities, within families, within whānau. This is a reflection on the belief that the best decisions are made with robust and relevant evidence. It's Superu's role to ensure that the evidence exists and is available to be used effectively by both government and non-government sector, social sector agencies, 
that are responsible for the policies and programs that create better outcomes for all. You know, it is no coincidence that 42,000 fewer people are living in benefit-dependent households than three years ago. The number of sole parents on a benefit is lower than at any time in the last 30 years. Immunisation rates for Māori are almost the same or as high as the rest of the population, or that youth crime has dropped by 38% since 2011. That hasn't been achieved by just spending more and more money in that particular sector. That's a result of concerted efforts, wise efforts, within, by public servants, by NGO managers, frontline staff, all working together. They've done things differently and they've achieved great results. It's also part of our goal to shift from social spending to social investment. Less money on paying benefits or locking people up. More money to invest in social services backed up by evidence to improve people's lives in the long term. At its core, social investment is a more rigorous and evidence-based feedback loop linking service delivery to a better understanding of people's needs and the indicators of effectiveness in social services. That needs to take account of the long term, including the benefits that might take years to be delivered. And I get that that's quite hard, that quick results, as we've seen in some areas, are lovely, but the results in the longer term need to be put in as well. So we need to deliver social investment to get those long-term changes. There will also be more systematic measurement of the effectiveness of the services people are currently receiving. The information can then be used to do more of what works and stop doing things that don't. Understanding the effectiveness of spending and doing what works are two principles with relevance to all public spending. Social investment is a toolkit that will help us understand all of our customers, but we can choose to focus on groups that are the highest priority at any one time. Right now, we are focusing primarily on the 10 to 20% of New Zealanders who need New Zealand, the New Zealand taxpayer or government support the most. Each vulnerable family and individual matters to us. So to the conference today, how does that relate to you? Well, social service providers need to understand their clients so they can better tailor their services. The government, as the funder of services, needs to know that the interventions make a real difference. And evidence is the missing link. That enables us to move from doing the same things over and over again to finding out what works. Making the best possible use of that evidence is what that, this conference here today is all about. So I challenge you all to pick up what is quite a challenge, but is also an opportunity. This is the shift that social investment offers us. I thank you for your time, for your energy. I hope you go away from this conference with lots of ideas, feeling excited, and I hope that it gives you a clearer understanding of the value that Superu can be to all of you. Nō reira, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa.